Today I'm going to walk you through how I make a string for my bows. I know a lot of you guys will go out and buy your own, but I'm just going to show you my process. It's really easy. And I like doing things myself, so this is just typically what I do. I figure out how to do it myself and I'll, I'll just make it happen. So all of you know I shoot Oneidas. With these strings you need to double serve your end loops. And on my end loops, see that green serving? They don't make it anymore. And I'm kind of disappointed in that. It's the Brownell crown serving. So I'm going to have to find some other option that's the kind of equivalent to it because this stuff is super slick and it, it just wears better than anything I've ever found before. I don't know if anybody makes anything just like it or not. But these, I like making the endless loop strings for these Oneidas and I use gold tip arrows so with 452X string this is the string I've been using for this hunting season and this is a 20 strand string and the knock fit on this is I mean it hang on a second it clips on there nice and just pops off really easy and I, I like that and this is 20 strands so then on this string I'm gonna make a 22 strand string and maybe just give it a little better clip onto the bow string because it even has a little side to side play but it, that's just it when you make your own strings and stuff you can experiment like that so I'm just gonna walk you through this and I'll show you how I make them and what serving I use and it's it's really not hard at all alright there's my string jig I probably made that thing when I was like 15 or 16 years old they're just bolts ground them and polished them and I had measurements on there because I used to make Flemish twist strings for recurves and longbows when I shot them and that's a spool of 452x bow string and I mean this is it's just so easy to do before you make the string you're gonna need to know the string length so on these Phoenix shorts my string length is 41 and 3 quarter so when I, when I set my jig up I just hook on that stud on the end you gotta have your tape measure stay too so you can measure it good you go to I like to twist my string up so I'm gonna set mine at about I'm gonna go with 42 and a half I will go 42 and 5 eighths so by the time you serve this and everything and give it some twists it's going to be right down there in your in your range now you're also going to hear some uh, some big babies playing in the background they're having a monster truck freestyle championship all right now I got my string attached and I'm going from this stud to this stud to get 22 strands, I'm gonna one. There's there's one. We gotta go 11. Two. And there's 11. After you get your 11 wraps, and that's. 11 wraps, so that means 11 strands on this side, 11 strands on that side, that's 22. That's how you get your 22 strand string. So when you're ready, after you've done that, just give that sucker some wax, and this helps keep, keep all the strings together. We're going to cut that string. Just give her a cut back here to get your spool out of the way. And 
cut this other string. On my jig, you loosen your stud up here, loosen that set screw or the wing nut. I need to get that off of there. That'll be in the road. Where you where you ended your where you cut your strings, this is the end that I'll serve up. This is where your two studs come into play here. Now on mine, since this is just like a, a little square tube beam, when I put pressure on this, it's going to flex that beam. And I can tighten this up. Tighten up my stud, and it holds it all tight. You make sure that's square. Now you're ready to serve up your end loop. This is Brownell Crown Serving 0.018, which is not made anymore, by the way, but it's my favorite stuff. So I'm going to serve this end up. I get that serving started, then you tighten it up, cut the excess off. Now when I rotate this thing, and I do each end, and everything on the string, all about the, everything about this string I do clockwise. And that means when you go to twist up your string for extra brace height or lower it, it's just counter clockwise and counterclockwise, and even the twist in the string match all that. So as I'm twisting this up, it's it's spinning the string till it gets tight. And now this serving tool, because I set the tension on this tool to where it's pretty tight and everything's bound together nice. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go back and put another layer over the top of it. You're done double serving that end. Go ahead and loosen up your jig. And I like to just rub that wax into that string a little more. And I'll usually offset the serving so when you serve this up it tapers down nice instead of coming off of this in loop serving as a big old wad it just don't taper good so you want to just offset a little bit and then I'll twist this up clockwise rub your fingers down it and that helps it get a little more round instead of squared and blocky shaped string. So once you get that, I'll hook it on there. And that's, I should have put a nice little chamfer on that back in like 1906 when I built this thing. Take off this .08 crown and put on the point oh two six crown it's just a little fatter string and it works nice 
to do these ends on. So if you haven't done this before, you'll want to get a good size up of your limb tip, but I kind of just know what's about what size I need to be. So I just take off, take off doing it. I'll get this up here about five inches and I'll cut it. Okay, there's one end done. Some people might ask why I don't add music in certain sections of videos and stuff. It's because I just kind of get annoyed by music on videos that I watch. And it, sometimes it's just better to have the natural effect of the video that's playing. So on fast forward, you're just getting all natural here. It's kind of how it goes with me, especially on hunting videos. Okay, we got our hands served up there, our loop section. Break that loose. See, when I serve that, they're offset by about three quarters of an inch for the taper. And I'll just twist that back up a little bit to give that string some twist. I didn't fart. Did you shart? Yeah, did you shart? I don't think so. It doesn't feel wet. But I did, I did uh, shuck my corn. Did you shuck your corn? I should have. I glazed my donut. Yeah, I got the 026 in there and I'm gonna run that serving down about five inches. Don't forget about sizing up your end loops if you've never messed around doing this before. Before I take off and do any more, I'm just gonna get my tape. And I'll just make sure I'm right around the ball, just ballpark length here. And I'm going to twist this up a little more. So just give that some twists. Always rub your finger down it because that helps the string form its roundness. Like right now, that's a nice round string. Just a little bit. One of these years, I'll get to chamfering these edges so I can just use my bare thumb. Okay, so this is for an Oneida Phoenix short. Instead of measuring, I get a marker and I just get my buck. Okay, we're going to make this the top. You got to serve these on. You need to put on your serving, your center serving. And that's the easy way to mark it. I have some yellow BCY. Which I think, I mean, it's going on the snakeskin bow with the snakeskin limbs. So, I'll just go with that. And you can use any serving you want. But I'm going to try not to use my, my crown on something like that. Because they don't even make this stuff anymore. And I'd like to find something that's equivalent to it. Because, dude, I'm telling you, that stuff is seriously strong. 
and it's slick. It's good for limb tips and finger shooting. However, I use a different serving for the center serving, which we'll get to here in a minute. Okay, we got our string stops done. Now we'll move on to the center serving. And I have this in my jig here. This is BCY uh, power grip, BCY power grip, and it's 021. Yep. And with this, this 021 with a 22 strand 452x string will fit a gold tip knock. I mean, exactly perfect. It's the exact fit that you want. If I go 24 strands like a lot of people make it, it's just way too tight. I bought some strings and it's just, I mean, the knock fits so tight that it just makes the board be a pain to tune sometimes. That's what I think. So I like getting it to where, I mean, it's a nice crisp snap, but it's not too tight. It'll pop off of there with, I mean, little effort to where you ain't just pulling the string. And it's just a feel thing. So I already got my marks and I'm going to take off and just serve this up. And keep in mind, everything has been going clockwise. All my twists on the string, all the serving, because you know when you take off with your serving tool and you set tension, it's going to, it'll twist that string and you just want it all going the same direction. <laughs> Okay, we got our string done. When I set this up, this is the top, top of my bow. So I'm going to break this loose. I'm just going to break the suppressors loose and push them up as far this way towards the riser as I can. First, I've got to have the right size Allen wrench. That way, you can set your brace height. After you shoot a few shots and get her stretched in, because I don't have a string stretcher. And I've actually went outside and hooked it to something, and I just hung, I'd hang on it and just pull on it and stretch it. But Here's what I always use is little PVC pipes and uh, step on your bowstring and shove them in between the powers and the outers. And then your string's relaxed. It's so easy to do. Now, Oneida does sell these, these limb blocks, but I like my pipes better. Now this old string, there is very little wear on this. Let me just show you. See if you can see that where that string, it probably won't even focus. But I mean, with that, that crown dude, it's so slick. I'm going to save this for a spare. I'll just roll that up. And I'll go stick it in my little bag full of strings. I have about, I don't know, freaking 10 spares probably. Okay, so there's our string. Our new 22 strand string. We'll put that bad boy on. And it looks like I hit my loops perfect. They're just a hair bit tight to get on there. And they'll stretch out just a little bit. There we go. Now just step on your string, pull your bow up. And that's it. I'm going to have a big old wad of Vern hair on my new string. Everything looks like it's nice in line. Just grab that dude and pull her back a few times. Everything feels good. Now here's the next step. 
a lot of guys will say, well, your string's not pre-stretched. Well, so what? This 452X does not stretch very much. But once I get it done, I'll just stand here without a knocking point on, and I'll just drill back in the target, and I'll shoot maybe 10 or 20 arrows into it. Just get them. You don't care where you're hitting. And just keep shooting it. There's no sense in really anchoring or taking your time unless you just want to see how good it feels. And then, I mean, that's how I always do it right there. Now, within, well, within 10 shots, this 452X string is stretched into where it needs to be. I've never had it take off stretch into where I've noticed it to where I thought something was wrong. It's probably my favorite string to use. Now I'll just shoot a few here. So, right now, this damn cameraman ain't doing his job, is he? Right now, I, I would be confident to go ahead and tie all my knock points and just be done with it. But I'll shoot it a few more times. And this is just basic how I do it. Like any, anybody can do this if you want to tinker around making your own stuff. It's not hard. You can make extra strings for when you go on hunting trips. But this string, I'll, I'll shoot this thing all summer long. And I hope some of you benefited from that. Remember, I don't know about any other arrows because I don't shoot anything other than gold tip, but this is 22 strands, 452X, with BCY power grip at .021 on the center serving, and it fits my knocks exactly perfect. And I'll just, here, let me pull this arrow. Stand up here close for you little monkeys. Clips on there nice. But it also will move up and down. But any side to side roll, there is none. I mean, it is dead on. And I'll shoot this a few more times and I'll put on my knock points and we will be good to go. Thanks for watching. If you need to know anything, just ask. I'm just here to help and do bow stuff. See you on the next bow session.